Okay, I told you I was gonna blow your mind, bake your noodle. Okay, here we go. Let me just level this out just there. Okay, now we're looking sexy. All right, check this out. On July 23rd, 2019, conservatives lost their mind because Nancy Pelosi said something that sounded like the most ridiculous thing ever said. She argued that for every dollar that benefits that the federal government puts out, so every time the federal government puts out a dollar, they receive $1.79 in return. That sounds like absurd math. And I'm not here to defend Nancy Pelosi. I think she actually may have been understating a fact. Let me explain. Now, before we get started, let's talk about one thing really quick. I don't want to talk about tax rates. Okay, I know everybody has a different tax rate. I'm going to use very simple math. And knowing that the number that I'm going to show you is actually far less than what tax rates are, extrapolate the rest in your mind. I'm going to use 10% as a tax rate. Okay? Just understand that, and that's just to keep the numbers simple so that we can do this demonstration. <clears throat> we argue about tax rates all the time. The rich aren't paying their fair share. So-and-so is not paying. These welfare queens getting all this money and not paying their fair share. And, and I'm not saying there's no legitimacy to those arguments, but when we talk about somebody's tax rate, I'm going to show you right now, all we're talking about is how fast the government gets all of the money back, every penny. Okay, we're also going to pretend for this ex exercise that there is such thing as a tax genie, that just every time money exchange hands, they just go, come out, and they take the government's taxes. And also, too, we're going to pretend that write-offs and stuff like that don't exist, okay? Because like I said, we're just keeping it simple. But even when you add all that other stuff in, this still applies, and it's probably a lot higher than what I'm going to show you. But let's just go with simple numbers. So, here we go. Let's say the government pays you $100 for something. They, they write me a check for 100 bucks. Give me $100 cash. Which, oh, by the way, when I said I'd bake your noodle, they make that up out of thin air. Yeah, a lot of times that $100 didn't exist. And what's worse is they, they borrowed it from a private bank called the Federal Reserve, and they have to pay interest on it. And then usually China, what did I say that? Usually a foreign country buys that debt and gives the Federal Reserve real money, well, their real fiat currency for it, and then we owe that foreign country interest on our money that was made up out of thin air. But that's another topic. <clears throat> so they give me $100. Poof, out pops that, pops that tax genie. So right here, we're gonna have outgoing money, okay? And then we're gonna have percentage, and then here we're gonna have ingoing money, if I can spell in right. That is an in, baby. Okay, in. $100 out. I receive $100. Me, here's my $100. Tax genie pops up and says, give me my money, fool. They're only taking 10%, so they take $10 back in. I now have $90 and I hire Matt the Roofer to come out and work on a job for me. And I give Matt the Roofer that $90. And poof, Tax Genie pops up, takes their $9. Now Matt has, Matt has $81 left. That's it, that's really one. Okay, Matt takes his $81, and he goes next door to his neighbor, uh, Zach Cooper, and says, Zach, I need you to lay some paver stones for me. Gives Zach, $81. Tax genie pops out and says, ah, 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 we need our $8.10. So now what does that leave Zach with? $73.90, am I right? Am I right? Am I wrong? $72.90? $73.90. Yeah, $73.90. So Zach now has $73.90. Zach hires uh, somebody to turn around and give him, um, I don't know, he's going to go make, uh, he, needs a, uh, he needs some lumber. And he goes and hires a woodcutter and pays him a 73. And I might be wrong on my math, guys. I'm not doing shit in my head real well. But you'll get the point. 73.90. Tax genie pops up. Now nah, we need our $77.39. Okay, let's just stop right there. <clears throat> 19 plus 8 is 27. Plus seven is 34, 
So we've got, the, they now have $34.49 back of that 100. And that's gonna keep changing hands, mind you, okay? So now they have $34.90 back in. Now they run over to uh, Growing Corn 2020, okay? This farmer, and they give the farmer that $34 and he goes to spend it. Now they take back, uh, the genie pops up again. I need my 349. And this goes on and on and on and on and on. And every time this dollar changes hands, now this is done currently with yearly taxes or through payroll taxes. So every time you hear about the government handing out $1 Congressional Budget Office says that they get $1.79 back in a year. In a year. Of course, roughly 40% of that goes to operating the Internal Revenue Service. Just, just for them to collect money, it costs 40% of what they collect. I mean, that may be a low estimate. <clears throat> Folks, when we talk about taxes, we're just arguing about how fast they get all of the money back. So when you hear them saying, we're going to bail out this business, they're not bailing anybody out. They're not doing something out of altruism. They're doing it because they know that they can give themselves welfare. I'll say that again. It's the government giving itself welfare. They're putting money back in their own pocket. So when you hear about the welfare queen that gets the $12,000 tax return that doesn't have a freaking job, they know it's going to get blown. And so that $12,000 equals, what's 79% what's of 12,000? 79% uh, of 10,000 is 7,900, plus another uh, 790 to 790 is just uh, 15, uh, 1580. So 7,900 plus 1,580 is uh, just under 10 grand. Okay. I'm not doing the math crazy right now. So by giving the welfare queen 12 grand, they're gonna get their 12 grand back plus another 10 grand, but that money keeps circulating out there, going over and over and over again from another business to another business to another business to pay their employees. And they get a piece of that from the employees. The employee probably has to hire somebody to mow their lawn. That day money gets taxed. They need to go and have a garage sale. That money, that money doesn't get taxed. That's why they wanna do a cryptocurrency. Probably why FTX was made to fail so that they could regulate cryptocurrencies and usher in the Fed's cryptocurrency. But we won't talk about that today because, you know, if there was a cryptocurrency and no such thing as a real cash dollar anymore, as worthless as that is, uh, that garage sale you had, yeah, we're going to tax those Tupperware bowls you sent for, sold for 10 cents. It's worth going, folks. You buy something on Facebook Marketplace, they want their cut. They want their cut. Digital currency, cryptocurrency is how they'll get it. That's why I don't own any cryptocurrency. I'm not buying in. Right there. And you want to know why they're trying to destroy small businesses? Go look up FUTA and how payroll taxes are done. Depending on the size of a company, see if you're a smaller company, you can pay quarterly. But when you get big, and I'll go look in the book. I don't know the certain size right now. I got the book with me today. When you get bigger, you're paying those payroll taxes every week. So if you're a small operator like myself, or I'm alone, or you have five or 10, 15 employees, you know exactly what I'm talking about, what days your, your payroll tax deposits have to be made on. And if your business went out of business, the money that you make and pay taxes on quarterly or at the end of the year for your company, you won't have that company anymore. And that money will go to a bigger company that will take over your market share and then you and I will force be forced to go to work for those people which means then oh son of a bitch they get their money back every week now they don't have to wait for the quarter to end they don't have to wait for the end of the year they don't have to wait for you to file an extension they don't have to worry that maybe you had to make ends meet and have to I don't know make a deal and put off paying your taxes Let's not argue about tax rates with anybody anymore. <sighs> and some people in certain states are paying up to 50%. <laughs> Every dollar you make, half of it goes to someone else. 
And half of it goes to shit like this war in Ukraine. We're paying for debt on money we don't have that they made up out of thin air. It did not exist. It's not like it was sitting somewhere and we had to pull from it. It was an empty room and they just said, no worries. We'll just put some, make it right now. We'll go print and it's not even print anymore. They probably just turned on the computer and go, there we go. There's $80 billion to give to a foreign country. And meanwhile, some of us have children that are turning 17, 16, that will be of draftable age during this administration's tenure, assuming they don't get another one. So that we have to face the fact that some of our children will be sent, will be drafted, and you don't get drafted into the Coast Guard or the Marine Corps or the Air Force or the Navy, you get drafted into the Army. And you will be a frontline soldier so that some of these sons of bitches can go and get a little extra kickback on this war so that their fourth and fifth vacation homes can get a pool put in. Some of us will lose children. Those children will lose arms, legs, whatever. So that some politicians in this country and other countries and some, not even capitalist businessmen, I hate to call them that because that's not what capitalism is, fascists. When the government, you know, fascism, when the government and corporations work together so they can all make a little bit extra money and, I don't know, buy a fourth vacation home, maybe get a pool put in, go buy some Balenciaga crap. We'll pay that price in blood with our children. And meanwhile, we're worried about somebody's tax rate.